So the first improvement to Photoshop 2023 is the object selection tool. If you get yourself the fourth tool down, get yourself the object selection tool, make sure that you have the object finder enabled. And what you will find now is if you hover over the image, you will have a wider variety of different options to choose from. So for example, you can now select the sky, the foreground, you can select people in the background. You can even select yourself the road if you wanted to. And of course, the main subject or object that you wanted to select. Left click on the person to get yourself a selection. You would then go to select and mask. In here, you can do all of your refinements, such as the refine hair. If you wanted to fix up the hair, or you can get yourself the decontaminate colors near the bottom, which will remove any color fringe from this image. And I'm going to go to output to set it to a new layer with layer mask and then press OK. And as you can see, a quick and easy job on removing the background. This next new feature is also really cool and it's to do with the content aware fill. Traditionally, if you were to remove this bottle from the background, you would get yourself the selection tool. You would select yourself the bottle. And from here, you would press Shift and F5 to quickly pull up the content aware fill options. You would then press OK, and this will then remove the bottle from the background. Everything looks decent up until you press Ctrl and D to deselect it, and you will now see the outlines have still remained from the bottle. With this new feature, what you can do now is you can press Ctrl and Z to undo. If you now right click on here, you can go to delete and fill selection. And as you can see, it has completely gone with no outlines or shadows left behind. Once you've hopped on over to Photoshop beta, this next new feature is to do with the gradients. If you get yourself into the gradient tool, get yourself any color that you want. So I'm going to go with this color right here. You can now left click on the screen and get yourself a live preview of what this gradient is going to look like before you even create it. We can also double left click on here, change the color to anything else, and it will automatically preview it onto here. We can set ourselves an effect such as linear burn. Now this next new feature is absolutely a game changer. If you first of all select yourself the person from the background by getting yourself the selection tool, you want to get yourself a selection and press Control or Command and J. You want to make sure you are selecting your background and you want to select yourself the first tool. You then want to go up to Filter, go down to Neural Filters, and you will now see there is a new backdrop creator. You need to first of all make sure that you have it downloaded and installed on your computer to then be able to turn this feature on. And the crazy thing about this feature is that it allows you to automatically generate a background using a few simple words, and this will tell the AI to create yourself that background that you've just asked for. So for example, if we wanted a smooth purple background, we can then press create. And what this will do is it will automatically generate three different variations of a backdrop. It will just randomly generate a background. And as you can see, we have a choice between three different variations. So for example, if we wanted to select this one, we can take this one and it will apply it onto the background. We can also mix and match them to add another one. For example, this one as well. If you didn't want a specific one, you can just click on the X and this will just remove it from the collection. You can then set it to a new layer group and then press OK. And what this will do is it will create yourself a group folder with the backdrops that you've just created. And of course, going back to Photoshop, we cannot forget about the photo restoration filter. If you go to filter, go down to neural filters, you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and make sure that you have the photo restoration filter downloaded. Once it's done downloading, this will start to process and it will fix up this image. It will bring it back to life by removing the scratches 
and it will make the faces more clear. However, sometimes it may not be active. So for example, at the moment, this feature is temporarily disabled for the time being. I personally think that they are working on it and they are looking to adjust these settings and just to fix up the bugs here and there. So it's a work in progress at the moment. However, if you'd like to see how this feature works and more about it, I have a video on my channel that will show you more in detail. And then finally, the last change isn't much of a feature, but is more of an improvement. And that is if you press Control or Command and K, you can get yourself in the preferences, go down to image processing, and now you can select between faster or more stable in the selections processing. So what this will do is it will use your dedicated graphics card, such as your NVIDIA graphics card, to handle the quick selections, object selection tool, and just about any selections in Photoshop. If you're having problems and issues, you could set it to more stable, and this will make it so that it crashes less. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, then I would highly suggest to set it to faster. And then you want to press OK, and next time that you open Photoshop up or you restart Photoshop, it will apply the changes. And if you'd like to see more Photoshop tutorials, click on the screen and watch the next video. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.